Um, today I am playing with this beautiful faux fur and I'm going to make myself a fall vest. Last year we were seeing faux fur vests everywhere and it's still not too late so you can jump on that trend. Uh, this is just a cheetah faux fur that I got at my local craft store and some faux fur is better than others. This is one project you want to splurge on the good stuff because if you just get like something that looks like a Muppet, it'll show. Okay, so you guys aren't going to believe how easy this is. This is a fantastic project for first time sewers because there's so little sewing involved. So all I did was cut a big square that was big enough to fit me around and it's folded in half. So this, uh, so it's actually two layers, okay? So then all I'm gonna do is I cut a little hole for the back and then I'm going to cut this right down the middle and then try it on to make sure that it's the size that I want. I might need to take the sides in a little bit, um, but if it's big enough, then I'm going to flip it inside out and match the fur sides together and then just sew down these sides, leaving about 12 inches or so for an armhole. So with fun fur or faux fur, um, it can be a little bit difficult to sew. It tends to get trapped in seams and can be um, a little bit tricky. So I've tried to eliminate as many seams as possible. So that's why I'm not even doing a shoulder seam. This is where the, that fold is. I just folded it in half and this will be the shoulders. So we're basically just going to be sewing down the sides and that will be it. All of our hemming I'm going to do by hand and we're going to do a little bit of interesting thing around the neck. Um, but that's optional, so how easy? Sew down the sides and you'll have yourself a vest. So I'm going to um, try this on, sew these sides up, and then I'll show you how to fine tune it to make it look like something other than a great big square. With my sides all sewn up, now it's time to make this look a little bit less like a big unflattering box. So while I was trying it on, I marked where I wanted my shoulders to go, and that would be right there. And so now to make your armholes, I'm going to connect this mark where I wanted the shoulder to go to where I left off sewing up the sides for my armhole. So it's going to make a little swoop like so. And you can always trace an existing shirt or a sewing pattern you like for this part, but I just wing it. Like that, okay. Do that on the other side too. And later I'll clean these up and make them a little more symmetrical, but you get the idea here. Cutting upside down. Okay, so I'll clean that up when I do. Ooh, when I um, hem them. And so you can basically stop here if you want. I'm going to add a little bit of a curve here um, so that it's not quite so boxy. And, um, and then of course do all of my hemming by hand so that I don't squish the um, fun fur because you can see at our seam um, that the fur can get trapped in there. So I'm going to do that part by hand. But then I'm also going to do, ah, whoo, uh, this collar. So let me show you what I'm going to do there. I have this piece and it's basically just long enough to, you know, wrap around my neck and I've sewn up three sides of it. Okay. So now I'm just going to turn it inside out and then sew by hand. I'm going to sew one side to the outside of the whole neckline and then flip it and sew the other side to the inside of the whole neckline and that will give me this great little stand-up collar. Okay, so I'm going to do some hemming and sew this neckline on and then I will model the finished project for you. I'm all sewed up and I just could not be happier with the results. I can't wait to 
wear this out and uh, show off my little cheetah print vest. It was really so easy. And the only thing that I had to worry about with fit was, um, since I'm a rather busty lady, I did add some darts. You can see right here. Um, but this was so easy because when you try it on and it's cut like a box, you'll naturally get this like gap right here in the armhole. So all I had to do was pinch that to where it fit and then sew along that line. It really couldn't have been any easier. So um, I just am going to feel like the coolest mom at the bus stop in this little vest. And um, I just... I can't stop petting it. <laughs> I love it. So I hope that you'll give it a try and see how easy it is to make something custom that uh, costs a fortune at the stores that you can do all by yourself. I know you can do it. Inject a little creativity into your life and make your life what you want it to be. So subscribe to the channel for loads more great ideas. I have so much stuff coming up for the holidays you're not gonna wanna miss. And uh, leave me a comment if you have any questions or anything you'd like to talk to me about, I'd love to hear it. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.